What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like here today, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. Those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to Teacher Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, this seems to be the most popular topic on my channel. It seems to be what you guys want to see the most. So I figured, why not? Let's talk about 10 more fragrances, cheap fragrances, that smell expensive. Stay tuned. Shall we begin? So starting off with the first one, this is one that's actually geared more towards the cooler weather. It is one of my favorite cheap fragrances to wear in the winter, actually. It's got a dark, you know, leather jacket type of smell is what it's been dubbed, and it's very accurate. That is what it smells like. It's a fantastic cheap fragrance from the house of John Barbados. It's Dark Rebel. This fragrance is great. Not any good for this time of year. At the recording of this, it's summertime. Man, man, man. But I'll tell you what, the, the main places I've worn this is times when we go to the casinos, when I'm in a climate controlled environment, big open area, just spray kind of heavy on this one because I just love the smell. This does have a niche quality scent to it. It's uh, It's got that castorium note undertone that's a little musky in the background, but it's really got this underbearing resinous sweetness and this leather note that is just beautiful. It's a smoky rum. I mean, just a fantastic fragrance. Does it last really long? No. If you get six hours, you're doing great with this fragrance. Five to six hours is about what you can expect, and that's actually one of the better performing fragrances from John Varvatos. Um, but it just smells incredible. You can get a 4.2 ounce in that 30-ish dollar range, 75 ml, even cheaper. Just a fantastic, wonderful scent. Little on the masculine side, uh, little's being modest. But it just, it smells rugged. It smells just, it's got that earth to it. You know what I mean? Because it's just so dark, so deep, and so beautiful. And that's John Barbados, Dark Rebel. So now we go from a very dark winter fragrance to a very light summer fragrance. And I say very light, it's got a beautiful grapefruit up top. It's very floral with a nice leather undertone dry down. It actually has a bit of an elegance to it and a little bit of class for a summer fragrance. It's from Lacoste. It's L1212 White, Lacoste Blanc. <clears throat> very, very popular fragrance. Great for the $30 and below price bracket from discounters. Obviously, a lot of these fragrances you can pick up from Kingdom Fragrances, which is linked down below. But very, very popular in a lot of people's summer list. And for good reason. It's got that shower gel vibe in the opening. It's a little bit more as, you know, focus on the grapefruit note. But the white florals really come in a lot more. Um, and that leather down below, like I said, it adds a bit of elegance for it being a, a warmer weather fragrance. Decent performance, nothing that's going to blow you out the water. Uh, but for anything that you're going to do where it's only going to be four to six hours, you won't need to refresh with this one now. Anything beyond, probably keep a decant with you, or if you can, keep the bottle. But for the money, it's kind of hard to beat. It's one of the best fragrances from Lacoste. It's definitely, in my opinion anyways, the best from the line. And once again, that's L1212 Blanc, also known as Lacoste White. Next, this is kind of a hype machine here lately. And you know what? For around the $30 price range, I totally understand why. Because if you really like ginger, this could be a signature scent for you. It's strong enough to go year round, yet not so dense and heavy that you can't wear it in the summer. It's actually a great summer fragrance. It's from Mazzaro, flanker to the poor home line, Ginger Lover. The most popular from the five fragrances that came out in the line. They all smell great. I have smelled all of them except for Amber Fever. I own this in Wild Mint, which is another great one. The whole line's good. I've smelled Naughty Leather. I've smelled Hot Pepper. Have not smelled Amber Fever yet, but if I had to pick the favorite, it's definitely Ginger Lover. This puts itself in its own bracket. It's not a complex note breakdown. It's ginger, lime, and vetiver. It's very, very fresh, yet it has a little bit of, not really a complexity, but it's got some character. 
It really does. For being such a simplistic note breakdown, this fragrance has a lot of character. It really will get you excited when you smell it, as long as you like ginger. Like I said, it's ginger based, it's ginger heavy, it's ginger lover from Mazzaro. Next, this is another one that's, you know, it's got some similarities to others. It smells very close to Azaro Wanted, has a lot of similarities to Spice Bomb Night Vision, but at a much cheaper price point, um, you know, with Spice Bomb Night Vision being the most expensive between that and Azaro Wanted. Azaro Wanted is not that expensive. It's in a cheap territory as well, but this is just even cheaper. It just smells so good. That bubblegum opening with a spicy dry down. It's Davidoff Run Wild. You know, when I was getting ready and setting up for this video, I actually sprayed it. It's been a little while since I smelled it. Man, I just love this fragrance. It's very good. It needs to jump back into the rotation. I haven't worn it in a little while. This stuff's really good um, for my taste anyways. I love Invictus. I love Spicy. It's pretty much what this is, a Spicy Invictus in essence because it has that bubblegum opening, the sweetness up top, that aquatic sweetness up top with a spicy dry down. Like I said, it's very reminiscent of Azaro Wanted and Spice Bomb Night Vision leaning more towards the Azaro Wanted side of it. But like I said, you know, sub $20 range for a 50 ml like this, right around 20 bucks maybe a little over for a 100 milliliter bottle. Decent performance, and like I said, it smells great. It's a compliment getter. I love the way it smells. Those around me tend to like the way it smells when I wear it, and I'm gonna be wearing it here in the coming days for sure, now that it's out and on my desk, and that's Davidoff Run Wild. In my opinion, very underrated. Next is one that received some hype for quite a long time, and I do feature it from time to time on the channel. It's just. Not a lot of people really talk about it much anymore, and I think it still deserves its spot. You know, the way I like to describe the smell on this is picture Sauvage with some vanilla and pineapple. Sweeter and fruitier Sauvage. Coach Platinum. It's good stuff right here. 100 milliliter bottle. Could run you about $37-ish from Kingdom Fragrances, Fragrance Net, places like that. You can get it in the link below. I believe he has a stock of them right now. This is a really, really good fragrance. Some report better performance than others. I get in that six hour range, maybe seven hours of on a good day, um, but I never push into the eight hour territory. Most of the time it's around six hours on my skin until I need to refresh with this one. Does project pretty heavy in that first two hours though, I will say because the Ambroxan is so heavy in this one. Even though Ambroxan is not listed, the amber wood on this is absolutely Ambroxan. Don't believe the hype. It's, this is an Ambroxan based fragrance and it's a good one. It really is. The way the pineapple and the, and the base DNA from Coach, the original Coach from Men, is implemented into this, it just smells great. It smells much more expensive than what you can get it for. Yeah, if you pay retail, it's not cheap, but if you get it from discounters, places like Kingdom Fragrances, Fragrance X, Fragrance Net, sellers on eBay, places like that, you're going to pay under $40 in the 30s, depending on the bottle size, and that's 100 milliliter. If you go even smaller to 60 ml, you're paying sub $30. Great fragrance, smells much more expensive than the price bracket for sure, and that's Coach Platinum. Next, we're actually jumping back into the house of John Barbados. Now, this is actually my favorite spring fragrance, regardless of price range, whether it be a cheapy, a more expensive designer, or a niche level fragrance. If I had to pick one fragrance for spring, it's definitely this one. The color is misleading because it smells very, very green and fresh herbal. Like I said, John Barbados, Artisan Blue. This fragrance is fantastic. Performance, not a stellar option. Absolutely not, but scent quality, it's bordering niche level. It really is. This is a fantastic spring fragrance. This is super green. Disregard that color. I do love that net webbing wicker look that it has. Basket weave kind of style. The bottle looks cool to me. The scent is even better. Very, very green. About a four hour fragrance. Um, maybe an hour projection. You can spray it really, really heavy. The sillage never gets too big. You can spray it 12, 13, 14 times if you want. You're not going to choke anybody out. You're just going to have a nice scent bubble for about an hour, and then it's going to get pretty close to the skin where you're just going to kind of smell yourself for a little while. Like I said, performance isn't that great, but the scent on this one shines. It is fantastic. It is niche level. This smells way more expensive 
than what you can get it for. Same thing as with Dark Rebel. 30-ish dollar range for the 4.2 ounce like this, 72.5 ounce, mid-20s, low-20s in certain places. Absolutely worth getting, especially if you're a seasonal kind of guy like me. This is my favorite thing to wear in the spring, and that's John Barbados Artisan Blue. Next, in essence, this is kind of, in, this is inspired by Creed Aventus without being a clone because it doesn't have the pineapple, it doesn't have the birch, it's kind of bergamot, black currant, and ambroxan working for it. It kind of does its own thing, but it's going to remind you of Creed Aventus, but like I said, it does its own thing to my nose. I love the way it smells. It's from Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes-Benz Select. I actually did a full review earlier in the year on this one. Haven't been wearing it as much as I should. Because I do love the way this one smells. Another one performance, not that great. Five to six hours, you know, and then it's time to refresh. Projection is moderate early on, but after about an hour and a half, it gets pretty close to the skin. So I would definitely, if you're bringing this to work or something like, keep the bottle or keep a decant with you. But it definitely has a class and elegance to it. Like I said, it doesn't smell exactly like Aventus, but you can tell that's kind of the direction they were going. And it definitely has that Mercedes-Benz quality. They hire a lot of fantastic, world-renowned perfumers to do their fragrances. And you can tell when you smell them. They get cheap in the gray market and from wholesalers and discounters. And they smell much more expensive than what you're going to pay for them. You know, people that aren't as heavy into fragrances as, as you and I are, they'll see something like this in a Mercedes-Benz dealer and not bat an eye at paying $100 for this bottle because it's Mercedes-Benz. They expect quality from Mercedes-Benz. i tell you that firsthand as a gentleman that used to work at Mercedes-Benz for several years. Customers of Mercedes-Benz demand quality, and I'll tell you what, when it comes to their fragrances, you definitely get the quality as well. Are they most, the most original smelling fragrances in the world? No, but they definitely smell a lot more expensive than what you can get them from discounters for sure. And that's Mercedes-Benz Select. Next, this is from one of my favorite designer houses that puts out fantastic designer fragrances that just get super cheap at discounters. It's from Salvatore Ferragamo. It is F Black, the hype monster itself. This has been hyped to death over the years, but it's for good reason. It's a great fragrance. Fantastic daily driver. Picture La Nuit de Lome without as much sweetness with pepper and lavender versus cardamom, you know? It definitely has a similar smell, similar vibe. Great performance, great ladies' reactions, all the wonderful things that La Nuit de Lome's known for, but a bit more toned back on the sweetness, so it's more wearable in more situations in essence. And it's cheap. 50 milliliter bottle like this, 15 to 20 bucks. 100 milliliter bottle, 20 to 25. All the discounters you can find out. It's widely available, decent performer. Projection's pretty heavy early on with this one, so I wouldn't go too heavy on the sprays. If you're gonna wear it all day long, maybe keep a decant with you, but if you're going on a date with this one, which is what I would suggest it for, namely, you're good. Spray and go. Get your four or five sprays and go on about your business. Your lady's gonna love the way you smell. This definitely smells much more expensive than it actually is. This is it a little synthetic? Sure. But for 20 bucks, it's hard to beat F Black from Salvatore Ferragamo. Next, we're sticking with the house, staying with Salvatore Ferragamo. This is one of my favorite overall fragrances. And you can get it cheap, obviously. I've featured it in other cheap fragrance videos before, and for good reason, because uh, I love the way this smells. This is my favorite blue fragrance. It definitely smells at a higher price tier than what you can get it for. It's Aqua Senziali Blue. From Salvatore Ferragamo. You can get a 50 milliliter, same thing as F Black. 20 bucks or less, 100 milliliter bottle, 20 to 25 bucks. And this, on my skin at least, is a performer. Eight to nine hour fragrance, two hours are really good, you know, moderate to above average projection. Uh, it just works on my skin, it really does. I have a big backup bottle, I have a travel size. I'm good on it. And as you can see, I got a very, very large dent in this bottle. Um, I love this fragrance. It's a good dumb reach for me. It's very versatile. You can wear it year-round if you'd like. You can wear it casually. You can dress it up. 
you can do whatever with it. It's very mass appealing. It's very versatile. It checks off all the boxes you would want a blue fragrance to check off, at least for me, my taste and my opinion. I absolutely love this fragrance. I've suggested it many times. People that have watched the channel before, this is not the first time you're seeing this fragrance on here, and it's for good reason, because I love me some Aqua Essenziale Blue, Salvatore Ferragamo. Next, this is super, super cheap. It's technically a great alternative to Spice Bomb, and you can get it in that $10 range for a 50 milliliter bottle. It's Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze. If there's ever such a thing as one Beverly Hills Polo Club fragrance to recommend to someone, it's definitely Blaze. If you like Spice Bomb or spicy fragrances in general. Oh man, this fits the bill. There's other spicy fragrances that you could spend $10 more and it's going to do the job, but for how cheap this is, if I was to just spray this on and walk by somebody and never tell them what it is, they would never guess it's a $10 fragrance because it smells much more expensive than a $10 fragrance. I'm not saying it smells like some $200 niche bottle, but definitely doesn't smell like something I bought for $10 at a rack store. Get yourself a bottle. You most likely won't regret it. I can't say everybody won't regret it. But in my opinion, must have super cheap, fantastic fragrance. It smells a lot more than $10. And last but not least is a nostalgia pick for me. It's one that I used to have a bottle of. And I went through the bottle. And it's been years since I re-upped. And I recently re-upped finally. I got an unbo a brand new unboxed version of it. Um, it's a little synthetic, but it just has such a beautiful, sweet, boozy note, in my opinion. It is Christian Audige. That's right. Christian Audige with the, corny, the original corny crown before Dolce & Gabbana K. So this has a beautiful blackberry, rum, and leather note. Like I said, a little bit synthetic, don't get me wrong. Definitely not a powerhouse, but not subtle and weak and short-lasting either. It's going to be in that six hour range. That's how it lasts on my skin anyways. Seven hours if you're lucky. It's really, really close to the skin at the seven hour mark. But first hour and a half, really good, strong projection, about arm's length. And then it leaves a mild scent trail for about two more hours until it gets real close to the skin. But one that nobody talks about anymore. I don't think anybody's ever really talked about it on YouTube. I've never searched. I'm sure there's a few videos out there. But this came out in, you know, 2009, 2010, something like that. It's cheap still. It's getting a little bit harder to find. I procrastinated putting it off over the last several years. But I finally pulled the trigger recently because um, I absolutely love that that's sent on this one. My wife has about half of her bottle yet left of the, the ladies one. Uh, this is the man, the brand that put out the Ed Hardy fragrances because Ed Hardy is by Christian Audige. And I'm telling you, this is the best out of all of them in my opinion. I love Love and Luck. I love Hearts and Daggers. I've always liked Born Wild. I never rebought it. This is the best one in my opinion. It smells more expensive than it actually is. It smells going right for designers being a bit more youthful because it is a little more synthetic. But you spray this one on, you're not going to smell like others around you because not that many people, or if any, are wearing this anymore. And that's Christian Audige for men. Well, guys, that's my 10. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of these do you have already? How many of these have you been itching to get your hands on? Like I said, Kingdom Fragrances down below. You can get a few of these others. You may have to search eBay, like uh, Christian Audige, for example. Um, others you can get on FragranceNet, FragranceX, places like that. And until next time, I will say this. If you get your hands on any of the 10 that were discussed in this video today, you give them a spray now. Pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. This is not a drill. Thank you.